This is the plaintiff, Marilia Cotto. She says her older sister, the defendant, owes her money, and she can't get her to pay it back. That's right, she loaned her money in her time of need, and now her sister's trying to stiff her. So she's suing her here and now for the $300 she's owed. This is the defendant, Raquel Cotto. She says she was about to repay her sister when an argument started, which turned into an all-out brawl. The plaintiff and her daughter busted her daughter's lip, and they pummeled her in the face. She had to miss work due to the injuries caused by the plaintiff and owes her despicable sister nothing. She's accused of a family squabble. All parties, please raise your right hand. People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Malian is now presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Marilia Cotto, you're suing your sister, Raquel Cotto, for $300, the balance of a loan that you say she still owes you. Talk to me. Why did you loan her money? Okay, so the defendant is my younger sister, which I love dearly. On November 5th, 2020, she um, asked me to borrow $1,000 to pay uh, part of her rent and to buy her, bed, um, her son a bed. She would pay me the following week, which was a Friday the 13th. Was she moving into a new place? Yes, she was. So she okay, needed help ahead. with the security. On okay. the 13th came and she gave me $700 and told me that she was um, going to pay me the remaining balance within the, the next couple of weeks. Um, it never happened. So on December 19th, I had a small gathering, family gathering at my house, and there was an altercation with her and her niece, my daughter, and, and ended up being four people, her daughter and my daughter's girlfriend. So it was... Okay, what are you calling hell. an altercation? Are you talking about physical? Physical, yes. So it started... Why? What happened? Started, what, was, what started it? So Raquel um, is known for basically being the party pooper of our gatherings, you know? How? Every time she, she wow. starts arguing with someone. So why as soon as she know? hears something that she doesn't like, she starts arguing with people, calling names, you know, just screaming. And so that's what happened that day. What was the right. reason for the fight? I'm either going to ask you or I'm going to ask her. Somebody's going to tell me. So just tell me, what was the reason? Okay, okay. so I was outside when the whole um, altercation started. I heard it from outside and I came in and they were already in each other's face arguing. Right, but you've learned afterwards what it was about. So tell me what you learned. What was it about? Well, it was about marijuana. She wasn't smoking. Yeah, but what? With what about it? Raquel wanted her to smoke with them, my daughter. Okay. And your daughter said, no, I'm not going to do that. No. And then what happened? No. She started yelling at her in her face, my daughter. Saying what? That she shouldn't act like that. Just acting like she, she did something wrong. She was screaming and calling her names to her face. What names like, everybody was she calling told me, her? Um, greedy bitch, um, you know, all this stuff. All this stuff. Oh, so, okay, so stop. Was your sister trying to get your daughter to provide the marijuana? Yes, yeah, she was. She wanted her to smoke with that, with her. Okay, but, and, but when she calls her greedy, that implies that she was trying to get her to share her stash. Right. Okay, right. so according to you, what happens? How does it get physical from there? Um, Raquel threw the, the first punch because I saw it with my own eyes. Um, with, to, uh, at, your, she, at your daughter? At, my, uh, at her girlfriend. My daughter's At girlfriend. your daughter's girlfriend? Okay, and right. then what happens? And so she punched her. And now my daughter saw it, and she jumps in. Now her daughter jumps in. So now there's four people outside. You know, all hell breaks loose. Are your are so your family events often like this, or is this an anomaly? Yeah. Does this well, no, happen at family events? Physical not like this? Time. I mean, I no, mean, Merry all Christmas, all. Okay. I know. I know. I know. Um, this is so, crazy. Is this not crazy uh, to know. you guys? Is this normal? It is. It, it, it is. Right. No, it's not normal. So did the, were the police called or it didn't get to that? No, it did not get to that. After Did you go outside and did you did you jump into the melee as well? Right. The whole family did. We was trying oh not jump in. We was trying to separate them. Oh, OK. That's what, all right. At any right. point in time, you know, did you hit your sister, Raquel? 
I don't know. I just was pulling people apart. I I have no idea. I got hit. My mom got hit. Um, everybody got hit. So I, <laughs> yeah, it was a mess. It was a mess. Okay, Miss Cotto, Miss Raquel Cotto. Let me hear your side of what ha of what's going on here. First of all, my understanding is that from reading your answer to the complaint that you do not contest that you still owe three hundred dollars. Correct? Yes. Yes. Right. What you're saying is I shouldn't have to pay him because this other thing happened and I'm damaged yeah. by it. So talk to me and tell me about this other thing that happened. Yeah, we we get together and like she said, I'm normally a party pooper. That's a lie because she invites me all the time. And if I don't come, she'd be mad if I don't come to her stuff. So that day I really did not want to go. It, I did not want to go, but she insists for all of us to go. So we get there and yeah, it's everybody wants to smoke. And her daughter's saying that she's not going to smoke with with her stuff with everybody. Her daughter wasn't going to do that. And I say, you're greedy. You're oh, you always been that way anyway. So keep your stuff and we have our own. That's it. That's all that was it. And then she started getting crazy. And then she my daughter said, who are you talking to? And she said, to no one. My niece is telling my daughter to no one. And then they were going to go at it. So we went outside. outside. What was it the daughter said? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you actually go outside to get physical? It's not like it just erupted. No, it was planned. Everybody walks outside no. to. to. No, me, okay. me and my daughter are leaving because we didn't want us. We didn't want no altercation. So me and my daughter are leaving and they come outside, my niece and the girlfriend and keep instigating and saying stuff and. You know, talking crazy. What is what are people saying? What is what is your niece and her girlfriend saying? Very vulgar, vulgar stuff. OK, so it all it, it all got crazy. More words back and forth. We're trying to leave. They come out. They're still talking. And then we I went up to my my niece's girlfriend because she I'm telling her mind her business is not her family. And that's how it all started with the punching. Well, and I don't know who. I know, but wait, how did the punching start? According to your sister, it yeah, was you who threw the first punch at her. Yeah. yeah I, so I, I how is that going to excuse? Okay. So if, if now we know how the fight started, explain to me how this excuses you paying this lady $300 that you owe her. They all hit me at the same time. My daughter had to get us. in. So yeah, but you're me. saying you started it. You just admitted to me that you started it because you'd had enough of the daughter's girlfriend. <laughs> They well, yeah, they right. followed us they outside. Follow if, if, I, if I didn't charge that dumb, I'm pretty sure they would charge Who's me. Who's talking next to you? Who is it that's talking next to you? Who's that? Kevin, my daughter. Okay. Can you swear in, please, Douglas? Absolutely. Can I get you to raise your right hand, please? You <laughs> solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. What happened with that fight? It started inside the house, and it, then it continued outside. When they followed us outside, we were, we were going to leave. And they started saying words out their mouth that was very disrespectful. This, that's, the, that's the family part you don't know. That's just how they is. So she ran up on my mom. Her daughter ran up on my mother first. That's what I watched and seen happen. So when she ran up on my mom, I ran up on her. That's it. How old's your mother who ends up in the melee too? How old's your mother? 60. 60. With a brace. Fun. She, All right. already, she already had a brace on. Okay. From a so maybe she shouldn't be trying to separate anybody. What ended up happening with exactly. your mom? Did she get hurt? Yeah, she did. did are, she is your mom unhappy. talking to both of you or is she upset at somebody? No. She's talking She's to both not. of us. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Raquel, uh, nothing that you have said uh, ha rises to the level of excusing you from paying a debt that you owe. Um, I think you know that deep down inside. I'm kind of sad because the first words out of your sister's mouth is whom I love dearly. You know, and, and I just wonder, did it really have to get to this? Did it have to get to a lawsuit where, yeah, know. you know, you guys end up, um, you know, if it's true that every get together she has, she really wants you there. Oh, come on, come on, come. It's obvious that there's love there. I, I just kind of. Seriously, you know yeah, you owe the three hundred dollars. She knows that. She yeah, that's fine, but you're daughter. not punishing her daughter. You're not punishing her daughter. You're punishing that. your sister, right? But you're not punishing the daughter. You're punishing your sister. Do you get it? Do you get how none of this is related? Okay, because if you have a fight with her daughter, you have a problem with her daughter. Your problems with her daughter, and what you're doing is you're failing to pay a debt 
Because now, the next time you need $1,000 for something, don't go to her. Because look at where it, where it ended up. And she's been there for you. I'm ordering you to pay the $300 verdict for the plaintiff. Plus, of course, your court costs. Good luck, folks. Thank you, Your Honor. So the plaintiff, Marilla, is going to get her $300 back from her sister, Raquel. Let's talk to Raquel and ask her, what is this going to do, do you think, to your relationship with your sister for now and in the future? Uh, I have no clue. I don't know what's, what's going to happen. Well, that's, that's, that's a shame. All right, well, anyway, you owe her $300. You're going to have to give it to her. Now, Marilla, let me ask you this. I mean, you took the step of suing your sister. That had to be kind of hard for you, wasn't it? Um, I love my sister regardless. Um, our relationship is going to, you know, we're just going to have to work on our relationship from now on. But we will get together again, um, no doubt about it. All right. Well, good luck to you. Five days before Christmas, <laughs> and these folks got three generations throwing knuckles at each other <laughs> at the party. My God, how did that go sideways so uh, fast? Over good over Lord. marijuana. Right. There's 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 people to whom that kind of violence isn't out of the ordinary, right. and and so they don't see it as that big a deal until right. it gets pretty far. Right. But the thing about sisters, a sister on sister case, it's like the sisters are like, you, you know, their own best friends, but it's, it's a love hate relationship. They know where the vulnerabilities are and they know how to get you in an argument. But it's kind of sounds like the whole thing started with the daughter anyway. Like it didn't, you know, she just, she's a Johnny come lately, the plaintiff right. running out there. So really under no stretch, should she deprive her right. sister of the money she owes her? Certainly not entitled to a set off because no. of this fight based no. on the money. The money no. just has to get paid. Yeah, absolutely. But I tell my daughters that all the time, as you know. We tell our daughters right. that uh, best friends cradle to grave. Amen. So Tony wants to know this. Hey, Harvey, the place that changed my car's oil used real oil instead of synthetic, and they messed up my car something bad. They're saying I should have told them to use synthetic, but aren't they supposed to know which oil to use in which car? Well, yes, they are. Um, the question, by using real oil, does that really cross the line? And I don't know the answer to that because I don't know your car. So I will say two things. One, you got to find out if using real oil is customary in that industry of changing oil. And if the answer is yes, you're out of luck. And the second thing you got to know is this. You should be directing them if you have something specific that you want and that you don't want.